Hello everybody, Abbott's brother here. And this is just going to be a quick little video on how to get Red Faction Armageddon running on Windows 10. Let's start the game up here and show you exactly what the problem is. And let's go DirectX 9. And let's skip through these. Load. I do really enjoy Red Faction Armageddon. I was kind of annoyed that I had to figure out a workaround. Anyway, so here we are. Now, people have proposed a very, very large number of solutions for this. Somebody said, you know, disable, um, like, surround sound audio or something. That's not even in the options menu. Somebody said enable or disable VSync. Um, that had no effect. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Anyway, here's the thing. You click New Game... Click accept, and it doesn't really matter. Let's take normal. And it starts like it's loading the cutscene and then shoots you right back to the menu. So the way to fix this, let's quit. The way to fix this is we are going to go sync up. So right click the game title, go down here to properties. And you want to go to Betas tab here. And you want you see there's a public beta that's available. So you want to click that. Now this used to require a code to enter, but it doesn't require it anymore. Now you need to let Steam download the update. It's a very small update. And to know that it's installed, if you look over here in your uh, Steam library, it will say Red Faction Armageddon, parentheses, public beta. That's how you know it's installed. So let's click play again. And we'll stay with DirectX 9. DirectX 10 and 11 runs well enough for me as far as, like, you know, it doesn't crash that much. But there are some lighting errors that happen with it. So DirectX 9 is usually the better option. And there are no intro movies with the public beta. And just to show you, we are running, you know... Pretty much the same settings as before, but now when we go new game, go accept, go normal, click OK, and now the cutscene loads. Cutscene loads in its entirety, there are absolutely no issues. Um, just to settle the issue, I did try installing Red Faction Armageddon on TryHard, which is a Windows 7, it's running Windows 7 64 bit. And it loaded without issue. So, uh, whatever the issue is here, to me, definitely seems like it's tied to Windows 10. And let's skip the cutscene and go directly into the gameplay because there's one drawback. And there it is in the upper left corner. You have an overlay now. Sam, this isn't the time. And lights, shadows, GPU, VSync mode on. Are we done? I don't know how to turn it off. This game does not use any of the more common game engines. This uses uh, GeoMod 2.5. So if it were Unreal 3, I would probably have been able to figure out the console commands required to, uh, well, the command to bring up the developer console and then the command to turn off the overlay. But uh, since this is Geomod 2.5, I don't know that command. If somebody does uh, know how to turn that off, please leave that in the comment section there. Uh, because it's not annoying to me because... If you've seen any of my other videos, I do some low-spec video tests, and I always have an overlay on for those tests, displaying, you know, RAM usage and whatnot, and this is kind of the same thing, so it doesn't really bother me that much. But if somebody else isn't used to it, it can be just more information that is unnecessarily on the screen, and it can be rather annoying especially if you like to have as uncluttered of an interface as possible. And I actually, I'm just playing a little bit now, but I actually loaded this up last night 
and played for about 90 minutes and it didn't crash or anything. So I have no idea why they didn't roll this code into the uh, into the main game code. Because this public beta has been out for a while. Now, this is not new code that they just made like made like last week and then put in the public beta. This whole public beta thing has has been up here for uh, I want to say at least 18 months, maybe even two years. And it's here, and people obviously can use it. Detecting movement. Anyway, it is the so that's the uh, Hello, that's how I get Red Faction Armageddon running on Windows 10. So if this video was at all useful to you, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, if the solution worked for you um, or didn't work for you or you know of a better solution, uh, leave a comment in the comment section below because, uh, you know, I want to know these things. I want to make sure as many people can uh, have a shot at playing this game as possible because it's a pretty awesome game, if not quite the game that Red Faction Guerrilla was. Thanks for watching.